Hello everyone, this is Paul with Creaform, and in today's video we'll take a look at how to measure the angle and bending radius of a long bent pipe. So this is what uh, the pipe looks like. So first things first is I want to go ahead and create a cross section on the pipe. And to do that I need a plane, so in the drop down for initial plane I'm going to directly create a new plane here. And I want to use the mesh symmetry plane method in this case. So holding down the control button, I'll simply click and drag to give the software a starting point to mesh this symmetry plane. Okay, there we go. So we have our plane. And we should be able to anchor the cross section directly on this plane, just like that. So if I go back to the tree view and hide the plane, uh, we can see our cross section there. So next step is I want to start by uh, creating the angle. So I'll create two lines and from that I'll create an angle feature. So let's go ahead and click line here, cross section and select uh, this cross section one. And now I will simply uh, select the two ends uh, to create a line. So that looks okay. So we'll click one line here and we'll do the same thing on this side here. I'll try to extend the line a bit, get a slightly better fit just like that. And now I can go ahead and create an angle feature from those two lines. So select uh, the cross section here, line one, line two, and we'll go with the obtuse angle in this case, so 167 degrees. Okay. Lastly, if I want to fit a circle, I could go ahead and do that. Okay. So again, select the appropriate cross-section. Now, of course, fitting a circle uh, is a bit trickier when you have a very long um, pipe. Uh, that's okay, though. Uh, we'll try and do our best. So I'll go ahead and use the brush selection and highlight as much as I can of what I think is the portion that best fits a circle. Okay, in this case, I'm highlighting the outside, but I could have done the, the inside as well. Doesn't matter too much in this scenario. And I'll go ahead and just increase the percentage of outliers uh, just to get a slightly better circle fit. Okay, so it looks something like this. And last thing I want to do is just check the radius here and uncheck the rest because really I'm just interested in having the radius. There we go. Perfect. And so last thing I can do is go in the 2D view and uh, take a uh, snapshot of this. So I'll have both uh, the circle showing and also uh, the angle there. So click on snapshot and we can go ahead and generate our reports. And there we go. So we got the angle, we've got the circle with the radius and we've got our snapshot. So. If you enjoyed this video, uh, go ahead and drop us a like and consider subscribing to our Creaform channel. This was Paul and I'll see you in the next video.